My name is Maite and I'm from Miami, Florida. My nose looks like it's pushed in. My left nostril is closed off. It's different shape from my right nostril and my nose is so tight that I can't even breathe. I have had 10 surgeries to try to breathe better. I don't have, I can't breathe. Delay is my husband. He's the one that taught me capoeira. Delay would say that it was love at first kick. <laughs> capoeira is a Brazilian martial art. You do a lot of kicking, takedowns. It's down to the rhythm of music. So you sing, you play instruments. It's a very strenuous activity. Capoeira is our family business. We own academies all over the world. Both of us teach and we now have three children. Now in the stage of life where they want to train capoeira, I think it's preventing me from enjoying those moments with my family because I can't breathe properly. We know that and you've had 10 rhinoplasties? Yes. Um, when I was young, I was self-conscious about the way my nose looked. I wanted to change my nose, make my nose thinner. So I graduated high school and I said, well, now it's time for me to do my nose. And uh, that was when the first surgery happened. And? I was happy with the results. But the following year, I decided it should be a little slimmer here. I would like my nose mm. to have the little pointy thing that I see on TV. I don't have that. So I went in for the second surgery. The surgeon filed the side of the nose, but I couldn't breathe. Here we go. That's what surgery three all the way to 10 was trying to improve. You're, so your breathing never got better? No. So it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Different doctors, I see. Different doctors. No one has improved her breathing, not even a little bit. What the hell is going on in there? If you could only fix one thing about your nose, just one thing, what component would you fix? To be able to breathe. That's it, most That's important it. thing. What about cosmetically? What's the most important thing? My nose has gone back. Yes. It has lifted up as well. The left nostril is the one that is more closed. So it's going to be really key is for us to look inside your nose yeah. and see what's going on. Hopefully, we can shed some light and help you. Definitely. Let's go do that. All right, so just looking here, it's actually a little narrow right there. Yeah, this, there is some scar tissue in there, look. Oh, yeah. <sighs> wow. Yeah, you do have a problem in there. That's why these doctors have went back and forth yeah. To try to, I mean, I can't even see your septum back there. This is called stenosis. Vestibular stenosis is a narrowing or a constriction inside your nose, basically which causes nasal obstruction. So what you have basically is all the way around 360 degrees, it's scar. And what I want to do is harvest what we call a composite graft, which is a combination of skin and cartilage from your right ear. And I want to try to approach that scar band and add tissue and cartilage to open the airway. It seems like they just added skin before. I want to add some support to it with the cartilage. Mm. Otherwise, if you don't line it, it goes right back. Then after I do that, I want to use the rib to lengthen your nose so you don't see inside your nostrils as much. I'm going to see if I could even take care of that little crease you have there on the left nostril. That's going to make your nostrils a little wider. That's going to get you some more air. Now, in regards to taking that rib, small incision underneath your right breast. And that means when you go back to instructing, just, you know, no, no punching in that area for a while. You'll be a little sore. Okay. Are you going to be OK even if we end up getting 20% more air in there? 20% is 20% more than what I have right now. So you want to do this? I do want to try it, yes. What do you think of all this? I think you should have to try it. We are in your hands. I was not aware that my nose required that much work. It makes me very nervous, but this is the first time that I have been with a doctor that has identified the problem and has a solution. So this is challenging, and it's not something that I do routinely, and that's why I'm excited for the challenge to improve you, make you better. But make no mistake, when we're excited about a case, that just means it's more difficult. Give her a big hug, Noah. I think Dr. Nazar do an amazing job. Now she has a nose. She, you know, she's much more comfortable right now. She looks more beautiful than ever. What do you think? Do I look different? Yes, yes. totally. You look different. Like... Physically, you look stunning. I Thank love you. it. Maite looks amazing. Well, I'm actually so happy to see that Dr. Nassif was able to give her the nose she was looking for. How do you breathe? That's the most important. I breathe better. I have a, a nose before it was yeah. you know, all collapsed. I'm ready to. Start the training with the little ones. Yes. 
Before the surgery, my nose was pushed in and my nostrils were asymmetrical and I couldn't breathe. It made me feel defeated because I couldn't do capoeira with my family. But now, thanks to Dr. Nassif, my nose has projection, it's more elongated, and I can breathe better. Now, I can't wait to show my kids what a badass capoeira mom I am.